It's Mr. B here, bringing you another awesome math video. This one on one of our favorite topics, slope. So um, you've probably done slope, maybe in a bunch of different places, but you know it's a really important thing. It shows up in physics, shows up in chemistry, any type of science courses. You're going to probably have to use slope. Maybe you don't even know you're using it, but you definitely are using it. Um, excuse me. Um, so one of the situations I'm going to say is. Uh, I'm going to start with the table of values and we're going to find the slope from the table. So let me just do up a couple of points. Um, let me see. 3, 5, 5, 9, 6, 11. So it has three points, maybe it has more, it doesn't really matter. Oh, maybe I'll do one more. 7, 13, 10, 17. Oh, sorry, that's not right. That would be 9, 17. There we go. All right, so um, if we want to find the slope of this guy, really the easiest way to do it is use our slope formula. Slope is equal to m2 subtract m1 all over x2 subtract x1. So all we got to do is pick a couple points from this guy. So I'll pick this one and I'll pick this one. So my first point, 3, 5. And my second point, 7, 13. And I'll call this one x1, y1. Call this one x2, y2. So all I got to do is plug it in. So 13 minus 5 all over um, what's that? 7 minus 3. So 13 minus 5 is 8. 7 minus 3 is 4. And that gives us a slope of 2. Now if we want to go a step further and actually find the equation, so basically what we have now is y is equal to 2x plus b. So if I want to find slope intercept form, I can take any one of these points. I'll just use the one that we're that we've already used, 3, 5, and plug it in. So y is equal to 5, 2 times 3 plus 5. And all I have to do is do the math on this. So I have 6 plus b. Subtract 6 from both sides. So we get negative 1 is equal to b. So I end up with an equation of y is equal to 2x minus 1. And that's the equation of the line that I have going on here. So this really guys is the most important thing you need to know in regards to slope it's the slope formula so make sure you know it all it is really is how I remember it slope is equal to delta y over delta x so that's the change in y y2 subtract y1 over the change in x x2 subtract x1 hopefully this video helps guys so see you guys in class thanks for watching